welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie Doggy. Our question this week is what does it mean to pinch back a plant? Well, pinching back a plant is simply pinching off the growing tips. At each of these tips is a terminal bud, which is responsible for growth of the plant in length or height. And in this terminal bud, a plant hormone that inhibits lateral growth or growth in width is produced. When you pinch off the terminal bud, you remove the source of that inhibitory hormone, and thus you encourage the plant to grow from its lateral buds, those that occur down the sides of the stem. That encourages the plant to grow bushier rather than taller. Pinching back is very commonly done in the nursery trade to give mums and other potted plants a nice, dense, compact look that we, as plant purchasers, find more aesthetically pleasing. Our plant this week is aloe vera. There are over 200 species of aloe, but we're most familiar with this one because of its gooey sap. It's in everything from sunburn gel to nutritional supplements. It's an easy succulent to grow. It does best when almost completely ignored, so don't overwater it or pay too much attention to it. It is sensitive to frost, so it's best in a container that you can bring in and protect. It also rots easily, so don't woe for water or use any compost in the soil around it. Use about half sand, half potting soil in your containers for this plant. It does love the heat, but it gets scorched in a full day of intense summer sun here in Texas, so it'll do fine in a little shade. It will usually be a deeper green in those lower light intensity areas as well. This plant does produce a lot of offsets, little plantlets that emerge at the base of the stem of your original plant. They can get pretty scraggly if left to their own devices, so it's best to divide them once those plantlets have begun to get out of control in the container. It's very forgiving of abuse. Because they're so succulent, they're sensitive to frost, so be sure to cover or bring in your containers up onto the porch to protect them. If temperatures are going to get near freezing, make sure that you do that. Our pet of the week this week is a Texas tree lizard named the Dude that hangs out with Robert Breeze. The Dude grabs a drink every morning when Robert mists his tomato plants. Yep, it's hot when lizards come to you for water, so make your own friend. To do in your garden this week, start a garden diary to note what worked this year in both the freezing and the scorching hot temperatures and what plants need to be replaced. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your pet of the week or a plant or a question from your garden. Mm -hmm.